Um, I had a fairly lengthy home video that I was editing for a friend and uh, quickly discovered that the best way to, to get back to him to determine what portions of his video he wanted to keep was to put a timeline on the raw video, send it back to him, and then he can get back to me with those particular times. Uh, I finally discovered that within studio in the effects uh, area, there's time codes in here. And uh, you simply take one of them and drag it down over the top of whatever clip you want to add it to, and it goes in there. Now, I also discovered, unfortunately, that when you do that, uh, you see this black screen. You don't see your video anymore. All you see is the time. And it took me a little bit to figure out that if I click on the little, you can see the little pink bar on top of your video clip. If you double click that, you'll find up comes an editing menu. And if you go over on the right hand screen where it says draw, click on it and unclick the overlay checkbox there suddenly you can see your video uh, and it has the time hack over the top of that now there's other things you can do in here as an example i needed hours minutes and seconds i really didn't want to use frames for this particular project uh, if you have several clips back to back which i did you can go in under the start time and make them uh, run consecutively if that's what you want to do and that's what I did but uh, as you can see there you go you've got uh, now you've got your video you've got a, a time hack on it and if I hit play on there you can see it start to run so as an example if he wanted me to uh, keep seconds between 10 and 20 he can just tell me uh, clip one I won't 10 to 20 or whatever it is and uh, I can go from there then then I get a product to, to send back to him so down and dirty that's what it looks like uh, took me about an hour to figure it out hopefully won't take you that long if this is what you're trying to do